2012, I was diagnosed with sleep apnea. I, um, how I got to that point was I caught myself snoring. It would wake me up middle of the night or during the day when I was taking a nap. And so I went to the family doctor and um, he said, well, let's go and have a sleep test and find out what's going on. I went to the sleep test, four hours, they hook you up with wires and put them on your head and you go to sleep at night. And the four, four hours tests what's going on with your breathing. And the results from that test was I was stopping breathing 27 times every hour during the night. That's 27 times that I could die within that same hour. That's not a good thing. So they set me up with a CPAP machine. I went home with it for a couple years and I needed to have a new test done as I wasn't, I was starting to snore again. The second test found that I was stopping breathing 45 times in one hour. <sighs> 45 times to die. I've got a family. I've got grandkids. And sleeping with a sleep apnea and a CPAP, you put it on, it's got hoses, you can end up throwing that machine across the wall if you're not used to it. But I was drug out, it drains you when you have sleep apnea. You don't, you don't, you don't have, you don't wake up very well, you're exhausted every day. But 45 times for that last test result, there was something else that I needed to do. I got invited to, my daughter invited me to her church. And I really liked the church. And it, you know, I got to know the people, the, the pastors and everybody there. And then I decided I wanted to go through their prayer line and to just see what was going on because I just didn't feel things were right with me. And um, going through the prayer line, I noticed I didn't feel right. I, just, I wanted to leave, but I myself, I said, no, I'm staying here. I'm going to go through this and I'm, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. It's for good reason. And a demon manifested inside me and came out. And he was tormenting me. He'd been tormenting me for a long time. And they, his name was the Destroyer. And I am so glad he's gone. I am so glad he's gone. He really messed with me. After, the, after I got delivered from that, I said, I'm going to, God is, God has done wonders in, the, in delivering me from this demon. I am going to prove my faith. I am going to try sleeping without my CPAP machine. And I did. And I woke up energized and ready for a new day, a new start, new everything. And so I went and saw the family doctor again. And they did another test for my sleep apnea. And no, I had no sleeping problems whatsoever that night on the tests and the machine showed on the little, the little cards that are on my machine that I didn't stop breathing at all during that night after I got delivered. The doctor, after that, after his test, he said, you don't need the machine anymore. And released me completely from using the CPAP machine. And since then, for the last four months, 
my energy level is tremendous. I'm doing things with my family that I wasn't able to do before because I was just drug out. I went on a cruise with my husband and <laughs> I didn't snore him out of the room <laughs> like I used to. So we had an awesome time on the cruise and um, energy level is just awesome. And all I can say is for anybody out there, any issues, medical issues that you have, have faith. Go back to God because he is the one. He is our healer. He is our one and only. And I thank him for what he's done for me because he is. He's healed me. He's been healing me. My name is Linda Lampton, and this is my story.